volume, speed, sound, lights, camera, action. Okay, everybody, here we are in the final stretch of season four of Suck Chips. It's been a weird one, I'll tell you that much. And we're just going through the last few bags of miscellany. I think we got about seven or eight bags to go before I wrap this up. And the reason why I'm wrapping it up is because I am taking an overseas trip. I have to take my father back to the old country, pretty much for what seems to be most likely his final run. He's very fucking old. And I have to take him back to Wales to see what, to see what remains of his family. And that's gonna be a very interesting experience. It's gonna be about as fun as you can have with an 87 year old man. But one thing that is definitely for sure while I'm there, there's going to be a lot of pub going. So what else would be more fitting for that occasion? And this announcement is this bag of Guinness chips. This is by a company called Burt's. And we already did a Guinness chip a fucking while back. I must've been in season one, a Kios bag from Ireland, but it was like Guinness and flame grilled steak. And it was just hard to tell, is this trying to taste like Guinness or is it something that pairs well with Guinness? It was unclear and uh, the chip was somewhat forgettable. This chip is definitely claiming to taste like Guinness. It says here on the little blurb on the back, which I'm not going to read. Yeah, these are from a company called Burt's, which I don't know much about, but they're from the UK. Roboburg, Devon, they got the weirdest addresses out there in the UK, I'm telling you, man. It goes on and on and on, all these names and shires and everything like that. But anyway, it's a small little petite bag. I got these at the uh, Euro import store in the Lower East Side. And we're just gonna crack these open as I prepare my palate for British food. Yum. Okay. Oof, yeasty smell, very brown chip. It's all covered with some kind of dust. Now, oh, very yeasty tasting. Hearty, hearty chip. I'll give it that, but it's been a minute since I've had a Guinness, so. Yeah, they did it. Yeah, they definitely did it. This beer tastes like this potato chip. Is that a good thing? I'm gonna say no. I'm not enjoying this. I'm enjoying that. Funny, they, look how dark that is. Funny. Tastes great here. Ugh, ah, it's been a long fucking day. I usually shoot these in the morning. It's the nighttime now. I'm working all day. But I don't know if it like makes for like a wonderful chip. It's got a novelty vibe. We love novelty. But I don't even want to finish that. I ate nothing but potato chips today. I, I fucked up. I had a couple bags from before. I had the the crab Uts chip, and I had that weird lion Egyptian chips that I got in Brighton Beach. And I was gonna make, neither of those chips were great, but I was gonna make some figures with those. And I take the bag and I glue it to a piece of plywood. Well, unfortunately I left those out in the studio overnight and the mice got to them and they chewed the shit out of those bags. Why do they have to chew a hole in the bag when the whole fucking thing was open at the top? I don't fucking know. But anyway, they were ruined. And so I went down to the bodega and I got another bag of crab chips and I figured, okay, I got them. I may as well fucking eat them. And I sucked them down and yeah, they were fine. When you're not trying to review them for novelty 
Any fucking chip will do if you're just hungry and just want a snack. Who gives a fuck? And then, like an asshole, I went all the way out to Brighton Beach <laughs> to get another bag of those lion kebab chips. Took a dip in the ocean. Had a beer at Tatiana's on the boardwalk. Came back. I had a lot of work to do in the studio, so I ate the whole fucking bag. Ugh, big mistake. And now I'm eating these. So I apologize to these chips. I'm not coming at them fresh. But I'll probably have the same reaction to them. So there's that. So I'm going to be leaving you soon. Ten more days to go. And then I'm out of here. Who the fuck knows what kind of chips I'm going to find out there in Wales. I don't know. Never been there before. Going to be staying out in the country. I don't know if that's going to create any content. If I can review chips while I'm out there. I don't know what I'm going to do. I need to look after my father first and foremost. But I'm sure there'll be room for some chip related shenanigans. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching and following and get ready. I'm about to drop a bunch of figures. You know damn well I'm making a toy out of this. So there you go. There you go.